Welcome to Relatively Refined. My name is Patty, and together with my sisters Kathleen, Paula, and I, we hope to inspire you to make your home and life more beautiful on a budget. In today's video, I'd like to share with you some simple summer pleasures that I'm enjoying this year, as well as a quick and easy herbed buttermilk dressing made from fresh herbs from my garden. This video is starting much like my morning starts. So we're gonna start with my morning coffee in my trusty electric percolator and out of my thrifted Noritake um, stoneware mug, which I think is the perfect size for a nice big cup of coffee. And every morning starts out the same with a list. So I usually start with my to-do list and my iPad, which I will check email and I'm um, not gonna lie, I usually check travel sites and see if there's any deals or credit card offers for travel. I do my morning garden stroll, which involves checking on my herbs, which is primarily what's in my garden. I have herbs, I have some tomatoes, I have peppers, lettuce, a couple different kinds of squash, like a zucchini and a spaghetti squash, cucumbers, and scallions. But I wanted to show you this lettuce. It's unbelievably huge. And I really like to go deep and pick. And I'm going to leave you some volume so you can hear the sound of the crunch. This is romaine lettuce. And these leaves are large enough, obviously for a salad or a sandwich, but they're large enough for lettuce wraps. So I like to make um, like uh, tuna salad sandwiches, or excuse me, tuna salad, and just roll it up in uh, a lettuce leaf and eat it like that. Here are my scallions, which are really overgrown and uh, more like full on onions. And I'm gonna show you here, this is my cucumber plant, and it has a vertical trellis that I purchased from Gardner's Supply, I believe. But you're gonna see, I'm trying to train it to climb up so it doesn't take as much space in the garden. And you can see that tendril, I'm just wrapping it around the metal frame in the hopes that it will train it to climb. And eventually it will be uh, vertical and it won't crowd out that zucchini plant that is right there, which is destined to be massive. Here are my tomato plants. And what I am going to do here, I need to trim them. And what you do is you're gonna look for um, stalks that have no blossoms on them and serve, therefore serve no purpose. And I will cut those off right at the ends. And that way the energy can go into the blossoms or as you can see there, the tomatoes. Now, since filming this, I have gotten a few more red tomatoes, but uh, trimming them is a really good thing to do. Those stalks that have no blossoms are actually called suckers. And again, they serve no purpose except to suck the energy uh, from the other things. So tr keep those trimmed back. This is my cilantro, which is flowering, so I need to trim that. And my rosemary always does really well in these beds. And the dill this year is looking particularly good. Now, look at my basil. You can see how small and yellow it is. It has not been getting enough sun. There is my lavender, which looks great, and I need to pick. And over there is parsley, and then chives are perennial, and they go year after year. Okay, so let's take a look at what we're working with. We're going to make um, 
of like a homemade ranch or an herb dressing. And the highlight of it, of course, is my garden herbs. So the first thing you're going to need is a um, either a blender or a food processor. I'm using um, my Vitamix, but um, a food processor works great. Or if you have a like a Nutribullet, that works great as well. And I'm going to give you the ratios. I'll give you the exact amount, but it's really more about a ratio so you can adjust it. Basically what you're looking at is equal parts mayonnaise to sour cream and buttermilk. So combined. So let's see if I put this here, maybe this will make more sense to you. So the amount of mayonnaise equals the combined amount of the sour cream and buttermilk. So what I have here is about a half a cup of mayonnaise and a quarter cup each of the sour cream and buttermilk. And um, I'll talk a little bit more when I make it, but I always add the sour cream first and then I thin the dressing with the buttermilk. So sometimes I use a little more, sometimes I use a little less. I add about a clove of minced garlic. Um, I add a little bit, I would say about a teaspoon of white wine vinegar. And then fresh herbs. And then I have salt and pepper to taste. I'm going to show you kind of how I store my herbs. I generally pick them in the morning and then I wash them. And then I try to wrap them. I'm going to see if I can do this with one hand. Um, and then I wrap them in a paper towel and store them in a, in a um, freezer bag. So here my herbs are, I have, oh gosh, I wish you could smell it. I have parsley and I have some fresh dill. Here's some fresh dill, some parsley, and a ton of chives. And um, for this dressing, I would say you're going to want to use about three tablespoons chopped. So I'm going to chop these up. This is obviously way more than three tablespoons. And I'll be honest, I probably do go over it a little bit. But when I make the dressing, you'll see um, how that goes in. But I did want to kind of show you how I store my herbs so I can take out what I need, wrap it back in the paper towel. Because what you don't want to have is... Um, moisture. So this kind of keeps them dry. And then I just store it in the Ziploc bag. All right, so let's get making this dressing. Okay, so we're going to get started making our herb dressing. I just want to show you this is my um, minced herbs, um, obviously way more than a few tablespoons, probably more like a quarter cup. I may not use them all, but that's what I have. So I'm going to start with my, in this case, half cup mayonnaise. I'm going to go right into the Vitamix. And I love these mini spatulas. They do a great job of getting every last drop. And then I'm going to do uh, the sour cream. So this case is about a quarter cup of sour cream. And as I said before, I'm going to hold off on the buttermilk until the end because I use it more as a thinning device. Um, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of white wine vinegar. And one clove of minced garlic. Uh, my fresh garlic was um, all dry, excuse me, all dried out. So I ended up using this as the jar kind. So I think it's about a teaspoon of minced garlic. And I'm going to throw in I don't know, a handful of herbs. Chives, I'm using chives, dill, and parsley. You also, I have done this with uh, scallions, but my scallions um, in the garden were too big. So I did have a little bit of the greens from the scallions that I used in there, but I'm hoping the chives will give it enough of an onion flavor. Um, but if you wanted to do fresh scallions, just one small one, thinly sliced. And then it just goes in my Vitamix. And I'm going to just give it a, a whirl here. 
then I'm going to thin it with my buttermilk. Again, this is more about a consistency than specific measurement. So I'm going to add a little bit to it. I'm also going to add a pinch of salt and pepper. And I will adjust this at the end to see if it's uh, when I'm adjusting the taste. That is that. So here is the herbed ranch or herbed dressing that I made. I like to keep it in a mason jar in the refrigerator. So it's a great uh, salad dressing and dip, and it's so pretty. I love the greenish color because that is my fresh herbs. And I honestly would use any combination of fresh herbs that you have on hand. I've done it with basil, dill, um, regular chives, garlic chives, um, parsley. I always do parsley because I love parsley. So really just a handful of herbs I throw it in. Um, in my opinion, you just can't have too many. Another piece of my morning routine is um, after I have my morning coffee, and I love a um, electric percolator. This we have been using an electric percolator for over twenty years, and uh, after we have our morning coffee and we unplug it, I let it sit, or I pour it into a. Um, if it's hot, I pour it into a, my Pyrex measuring cup. And then I add it to my mason jar of coffee, which I keep in the refrigerator, and I can use it later to make iced coffee. This is a 32-ounce mason jar that I actually picked up last week at the thrift store for 50 cents. Um, and I just added my own lid because I don't typically use the lids that come with them just for um, cleaning purposes. So anyway, this I poured in this morning from this and I just left it out on the counter to cool and then I just dump it. I just add it to my um, mason jar and put a lid on it and then this will just go back in the refrigerator and then later today if I have a craving for iced coffee um, I can pour this over ice and add some uh, creamer or oat milk or whatever um, if you use a simple syrup. I find the sweetened creamers are great. A little splash of those. So this is a great way to reuse um, and not waste your morning coffee and have a nice cold beverage ready to go.